Hey, what's up everybody? It's Jonathan from OT for Tech, and I know I told you in my previous vlog that I was gonna chill out on the screen protector reviews, but a company that goes by the name of CoolReel recently reached out to me regarding reviewing one of their temper glass screen protectors. And I took a look at it and I realized it could be beneficial to you guys. So without any hesitation, I told them yes, and they sent me a few samples for the iPhone 6 Plus. So without further ado, let's go ahead and take a quick look at the CoolReel temper glass screen protector for the iPhone 6 Plus. So the CoolReel Temper Glass Screen Protector has a measurement of 0.3 millimeters, making it pretty thin. It has a oleophobic coating built into it. It's scratch resistant, it's shatter proof, and they say it's explosion proof. But nevertheless, it is a 9H surface hardness, and we will be testing out that surface hardness in this video. So inside the box, you're gonna find like a little manila folder envelope kind of thing here, and then behind that, you're gonna find a styrofoam sleeve which actually houses the screen protector. If you rip the top off the little envelope that I just showed you, you're gonna find some of the tools that you need for the installation process. This includes a dust removal sticker, a wet wipe, a microfiber towel, and some alignment stickers. I didn't really use the alignment stickers in my installation, however, they're there if you need them. Now, if you don't want to go by this video or other videos on YouTube, they do offer installation instructions built into the packaging. If you take a look at the back of the interior portion of the packaging, you're going to find your installation instructions. So like most other Tempo Glass screen protectors, installation is a breeze. Just make sure you use the included tools to clean your screen thoroughly, and this includes using the wet wipe to remove any fingerprints, then go behind it with the microfiber towel to dry off your screen, and then use the dust removal sticker to remove any pieces of dust that you may not have gotten off with the cleaning process using the microfiber and the wet wipe. Next, all you have to do is remove the protective film covering the adhesive portion of the screen protector. Then take your time and line it up. This is extremely important considering the top bottoms and sides of the screen protector are a solid black rather than see-through. And if you cover up one of the sensors at the top or the front facing camera, it's not going to act right or function properly. So take your time, line everything up. Once you have everything lined up and in place, drop the screen protector on the display, take your finger, go right down the middle of the screen protector and you'll see the self-adhering properties take effect. Whatever micro bubbles that might have gotten stuck underneath between the glass and the screen protector, take the microfiber cloth or you can use a credit card and squeegee them out. It's really, really easy. It took me maybe two minutes and that was it. So once it's installed, you can see the screen protector does feature rounded edges and this helps with anti-chipping and also gives you added comfort when using Touch ID or just gliding your finger on and off the screen protector. If you take your time and align it properly, you can see the cutouts are extremely precise. The home button, the proximity and ambient light sensors at the top, and of course the front facing camera and the front speaker grill. They're extremely tight, they're extremely precise, so if you take your time and line it up, you won't have any problems. Since this is a tempered glass screen protector, that's exactly what it's going to act like, glass. Nothing is going to get in the way of your viewing experience when looking at that beautiful retina display on your iPhone 6 or 6 Plus. This means that the optical clarity with the screen protector on your phone is perfect and you won't even notice it. So whether you swipe up, down, side to side, or poke your device, it's going to function as if you did not have a protective film covering your display. This means that the touchscreen sensitivity is perfect. But not only that, but the oleophobic coating that's built onto this screen protector works flawlessly. And swiping up, down, or whatever it is you're doing, it's going to be buttery smooth, and also it helps resist against fingerprints, and it does an amazing job. So the number one reason why we get a screen protector for our device is to protect it. It doesn't matter if it has rounded edges and oleophobic coating or goes edge to edge if it doesn't do its main purpose. So with that being said, we're gonna go ahead and test out the 9H surface hardness of the screen protector. Before I begin this test, I am going to put my iPhone 6 Plus inside of a case, and this is only because I'm targeting the display itself and not the entire phone. So for this test, we're gonna use a handful of silver dollars, we're gonna use my unboxing knife, we're gonna use a box cutter, and then we're gonna use a hammer. So the first test is going to be taking a handful of silver dollars and just dropping them on the display to see if anything chips, cracks, or just breaks overall. And with that being said, none of that happened. I dropped the handful of silver dollars on the display and there was actually no damage to the screen protector. So it held up pretty good. The next test is taking my unboxing knife and scratching the crap out of the screen protector. And honestly, I didn't go as hard as I could, but I definitely didn't go as light as I could either. I didn't take it easy at all when it comes to scratching a screen protector. And honestly, it did not have any scratches when I got done. And this could be because the unboxing knife isn't as sharp as say a razor blade. And with the razor blade in mind, let's go ahead and bring out the box cutter and see how well it performs. So using the box cutter, I definitely dug into the screen protector with this one. And I definitely did make marks on it. 
They weren't so deep to where if I ran my finger along the screen protector, my finger kind of dipped in, but it was definitely enough to see. You can kind of see it there glistening off the light. There were some deep scratches, but that's to be expected when taking a razor blade and cutting into a screen protector. So the last and final test is taking a hammer and just whacking the crap out of my phone with this screen protector on it. And it survived several whacks before the bottom just shattered. And it performed extremely well in my personal opinion. I mean, these are extreme tests. Nobody's going to be beating their phone with a hammer or taking a razor blade to their phone or even a pocket knife. However, people do put their phones in their pockets with loose change or keys. So dropping the silver dollars on it really wasn't far-fetched considering people do put their phones in their pocket with loose objects. And it survived all that extremely well until the hammer. And again, no one's going to be beating their phone with a hammer, so in my personal opinion, it definitely withstood a beating before it just gave out. But peeling off the screen protector from the device, the device itself was not harmed at all. So do I recommend it? Absolutely. This thing is only 15 bucks on Amazon. If you're a Prime member, you get that free two-day shipping, and it beats all the competitors' prices out there without cutting back on the quality. You get edge-to-edge -edge protection, rounded edges, a great oleophobic coating, and a 9-H surface hardness. If you want to check them out at their official website, I'll leave a link to that in the description below, as well as the link directly to the item. So whichever one you want, you can find in the description below. If you enjoyed the video, drop me a thumbs up. If you didn't, give me a thumbs down. Subscribe if you're not already subscribed. Follow me on all my social media connections. And of course, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.